Okay, dudes, what is up? And we're back here again on some more missions. That's right, on some more blood and venom missions. I can't wait to get venom, dudes. I, I can so not wait to get venom. I hope we get venom. Um, we did, like, you know what? I'm, I, lately, I'll be honest, you guys, when opening crystals, normally, like, you guys will know if you guys watched which way we're going to go. We're going to have to open up that um, mystic path there. Um, you guys know. Uh, before when I used to open crystals, I used to always expect four stars. But recently, I would say I, I haven't really been expecting them. And the reason why that is, is uh, where are we getting three stars now? Um, I would be still disappointed before. But now when we get three stars, I'm actually not that bothered. Because um, like I was saying to Crazy Daisy in the crystal openings before as well, is that... Um, when we get the three stars now, we actually get four star crystal shards, which is really good. And it's going to like end up basically giving us a four star crystal. So now I don't really mind too much about getting three stars. Um, so I don't know. It, 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 I, I'll be honest, you guys. The shards was one of the best updates they ever done on this game. Really, really honestly was one of the best updates they've done for this game. Um, gives you a lot of crystals you can get a lot of crystal through shards that's why i really like it because you can get a heck of a lot of crystals um doing the shards like honestly i've been through loads of crystals doing shards an amazing amount of crystals which is really really awesome um uh, but um yeah so the three stars don't actually bother me that much we've actually had um quite a few uh four three four stars crystals now which is amazing because normally that would actually cost a lot of money but then four star crystals weren't cheap guys they really really weren't cheap um, well, I want him to start bringing out like a maybe like see a lot of people said when the five stars come out that they were going to be chucked in the premium crystal as well um, I, I I knew that wasn't going to happen there's no way they would have given the chance of someone getting a five star for like a hundred units I just couldn't see that honestly happening um, but hopefully like soon they'll actually bring out a crystal um, so you can actually get five stars in them. That would be awesome because then we can do five star hunting because I'm still a bit bummed out that five stars are out. It's like they rushed the five stars to come out. I tell you the honest truth. It's like you can't use them in arenas. Uh, I know you can use them for story modes and stuff like that, but you can't even rank them up that much anyway. So your four stars are still going to probably be more stronger than them at the moment anyway. So really at the moment, um, having a five star is just the fact of saying I've, I've got a five star because really... At the moment, they're pretty rendered and much useless, really and truthfully. For the amount of money they cost anyway, guys, let's be honest. For the amount of money they're actually costing, um, they literally, they, they are, they're not really worth it right now. Right now, they're really not worth it. Um, so hopefully, they start bringing out crystals that, um, oh, no way. He done that. I hate facing vision when he does that. Yes. I didn't know Moon Knight stuns you when he hits you, to be honest. I honestly didn't know that. That was, I didn't know that. He never used to do that, but that's good. I'm not complaining. That's good. That's good. That's real good. Um, but yeah, I just think the, the fire stars, I think they rushed them out. I think a lot of people were just saying, oh, bring the fire stars out. Me personally, I think the fire stars um, were a complete, they should have just left it. But I, I know the reason why they done it. They wanted to bring fire stars out so they can um, prolong the life of the game. Because I'm supposing, if you only just leave it to four stars, um, um, see, I, I think, say, I, I feel like saying, yeah, the game life is not going to last long. But at the end of the day, there's lots of four stars you've got to get. They can keep on bringing new characters out at the end of the day. They can they can keep on bringing, like, four like characters out and put them as four stars. So, really, they didn't actually need to bring five star characters out. I honestly, dudes, I'll be very, very, very honest to you. I think five stars was a very, very bad decision um, that they made um, to bring out in the game, in my personal opinion. I just think it was a huge huge cash grab what they did and i and i don't like that they've got a bad reputation at the moment of doing that and i just think um with certain decisions they make they prove that they are a cash grabbing company um but you know what it's a business at the same time so you can't fault them at that because that then no one's gonna do it for free but really and truthfully they do make a heck of a lot of money um but uh, it is what it is guys, you know, it's mobile games a lot of mobile games are like this anyway So I know it's a lot of people complaining about this game But really you have to look at other games as well guys You have you have to look at other games as well Like really if you look at the other fighting games like Injustice and WWE Immortals and uh, Mortal Kombat really and truthfully you have to dupe out your um, Character like seven times to be any good anyway Like really if you've only got a one card if you've got a gold card That's like just once and not duped out. It's pretty much rubbish anyway, so 
Uh, you got to think about it like that, guys, as well. So it's not just this game that's like it. Re nearly every mobile game is like it. And console games are starting to come like it as well um, with these micro transitions, which is... It really is our fault. It's our it's, it's the gamer's fault, guys, because we're the ones who are paying into these microtransactions that warrant people doing them. So really, we only have ourselves to blame. It's nobody else. It's not the company's fault. At the end of the day, they give us options to buy things. We didn't have to buy them, but because um, we want the best and we want to be the best, or we want a good team at least, um, we do it. So, you know, hopefully, um, not every game is going to be a pay-to-win um, all the time, but... Uh, there, there, it's no, it's, there's been a lot of games before these micro transitions are as mad as they are now. There was a, there was a few games out anyway that were like a pay to win anyway. So I think it's just gone to the next level now where loads of companies are doing it, which is totally insane. Um, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. We, we only have ourselves to blame. It's my personal opinion. We, we only have ourselves to blame. But yeah, yeah. Um, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. I really want to dupe out my Moon Knight. I really, really, really want to dupe out my Moon Knight. But five stars, yeah. We're talking about the five stars, guys. Um, I don't think it was necessary to actually bring out five stars. I really, I honestly don't. I just don't, I just don't know. I just don't believe that there was any point of actually doing the five stars. I don't know. I just don't think there was any point. Honestly, I don't think there was. Um... Recently, actually, I've been reading on the forums as well, guys. I don't know if you guys actually know this, that there was an, there was a glitch um, in some crystals. I did not know nothing about this. I don't even know how to do it. Um, but apparently, that it was only with a top alliance. It was only the top alliances as well, guys. Like you know, you know which alliances I'm talking about. Them top, top, top ones. Um, apparently, um, when they spun a crystal, if they got a four star, they could keep on spinning it and getting four stars again and again. And so, if they got one four star, they could end up getting like. A whole army of four stars just from getting one four star because they could respin it all the time. I don't understand. I don't know how they done it. I don't know. I don't know what they done to do it. Um, you guys see my um, crystal openings live. Um, I record every single one of them. You guys see my whole roster all the time. So I I don't do no glitches. I don't do nothing like that. Um, but yeah, there was a there's a lot of people um, talking about it now at the moment, which is uh, insane. I don't know what they're going to do uh, about that as well. But I tell you the truth, that's why arenas are so hard, guys. That's why them are top alliances are always winning, guys. You know? Basically, at the end of the day, what you've got to realize is, well, they're, they're, they work with the company. Yeah, them top alliances, they, they work with the company, guys. So, they they have they, they, at a certain point, they're going to be given free stuff anyway. You know? That's just the way it works, you know? That's just the way it works. When there's a team um, that is like, the best, what you got to realize is um, that... There was, you know, you know the sort of alliances I'm talking about. I just don't want to name alliances out there. Um, but there was, uh, some of the developers were actually in them once until they actually got called out. Until people were saying, no, they're, they're developers. And then they actually left that alliance. So really and truthfully, um, you don't actually know who's in the alliances and who, who are developers or not. You actually don't have a clue who is. Um, maybe the whole alliances of them, top alliances, uh, may be developers. Or it might be like a, let's put like a 10, 20... Um, uh, developer accounts or something like that and then let's put like 10 normal people in there and keep on rotating them 10 normal people so people think it's actually real you don't actually know so um you've got to think that's th them things are always going to happen anyway guys you know them things are always going to happen that's why when they have things like oh yeah the top alliance is going to get this the top alliance is going to get that just think about it that's impossible just think about it it's absolutely impossible to get that um and I know a lot of you probably say, oh, this player is the best player. And he name, his name floats around a lot. Um, when you get people working with developers, obviously they're going to be the best. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was the fourth time through. And we've done it this time, dudes. 83% awesome. And we'll see you guys in the next episode, dudes.